Hey everybody, welcome to J&J Acres. Today we have a special project to do. We have Tommy Alderman from Alderman Farms with us and he's been kind enough to help mainly with the transportation of some livestock panel that we needed. See, we don't actually have a pickup truck or a trailer here, so when we knew Tommy was going to be in town, we begged him for a favor and he was more than happy to oblige. So, you see Tommy back there and he's ready to get this set up and just give me a second and we'll tell you what's going to happen. Okay, so what we're doing is making a semi-portable pen for our kids. Uh, I mean the goats, not the children. Well, maybe both. Ma well, Tommy, shh. It's video. <laughs> Oops. So, what we're going to do is take these uh, livestock panels. These are called combination panels. That's what they were sold to us as. And you can kind of see, look down at the bottom here. It's a pretty good way to look right there. You see the bottom ones are only about two inches apart, then it's about three inches apart, and then eventually up higher it's four inch apart. And we get in these ones because for the baby goats, they can crawl through those four by four ones. So we want it to be smaller at the bottom. By the time they can reach the bigger holes, they're too big to fit through. So that's what we're using these for. And we are going to connect these panels. We have five of them. They're 16 foot long a piece. And they're just going around in a circle here in a funny little... Uh, polygon shape using some of these trees as uh, supports. Now this was something smart Tommy was thinking about. You see back there in the wood line is our buck and uh, he still hasn't cleared out that area of grass and so he's happy there and we're happy to keep him there but if he pushes up against this fence and we don't want him to, to dent it or flat out push it over so we're gonna go up on the outside of these trees so that if he pushes in on the fence, he doesn't, uh, well, he's pushing against the trees, really, and not the fence. So the way we're going to connect these is just with hog rings. And uh, let me show you that. Now, if you've never used hog rings for anything, i got to tell you, when I learned about them, I was tickled to death because I've used them in many situations, and not one of them ever included a hog. So what we're going to, this is uh, this particular package. We've also bought them in cardboard boxes, and I'm sure somewhere you can buy them in bulk in a paper bag. So they come in a lot of different sizes for different uh, size pigs, but for our purpose, we chose the biggest ones we could buy. And these are the pliers, plain and simple, but on the inside, there's just a little tiny notch. And what that's for is to hold these little angles at the end of the hog ring, just like that. And we're going to use these as hinges, and it's no more difficult than wrapping it around squeezing it together and we got it now we have a hinge so we're going to repeat that process a good number of times and we'll show you again in just a minute okay so one lesson learned that we had while we were doing this tommy noticed that it was slipping all over the place if we just took a uh, hog ring and connected the two so instead make sure that on one side you're going above the horizontal connection and on the other side beneath the horizontal connection Gives you a little more stability for any up-down le leeway there. Okay, everybody, that's it for our little semi-portable goat pen project here. You see right now we're just using these little carabiner kind of style hooks. We're going to get a little smaller ones because, as, as Tommy noticed, there's a little bit too much of a, of a gap between these, especially vertically. So we're going to get some smaller ones, bring this fence a little closer together, and probably another one or two to, to to close that gap up but if we ever needed to move this we would just disconnect all of these and then collapse it all in and move it wherever we needed to it wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world but it's not permanent so that we could do that if we wanted to so thanks Tommy for coming over my pleasure and helping out and we'll see you guys next time every once in a while they yell about not being with mama but they're happy to be out here where the grass is And that's permaculture. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, it's really just the idea of observing nature and seeing how it grows and interacts with itself naturally and then mimicking that process on a much smaller scale.